Hello everyone, my name is Axel and I like to build stuff. This is a compressed air turbine. It works by putting a jet of air through this intake that slowly circulates around the outside of this cylinder that exits through these ports that spins a turbine at 10,000 RPM. Here's how I built it. So how do I build an air engine capable of 10,000 RPM? Well, the first thing is I'm going to use a centrifugal style turbine because these are very common and they're extremely easy to assemble. So I started with a turbocharger like design that only uses one bearing and it has extremely simple geometry and this allows for a very quick and easy prototype. So after printing all the parts, it was time to assemble them. And of course, since I am big brain, I snapped the 3D printed axle. So I ended up just using this drill bit instead. Wobbling in this slow motion is from the lack of a support bearing placed right here. The wobbling eventually got so bad that the turbine ended up exploding. And due to the fact that my camera was rolling at 480 frames per second at 720p, I calculated a top rotational speed of 6480 RPM. So, with this prototype working, but eventually, of course, exploding, I went off to design a new turbine. This one was designed with the least amount of vibration in mind. It has two bearings on each side, so then the axle is well supported. It uses a new impeller design that should be able to grab more air more efficiently, and it has this box nozzle so then it can put more air over a larger surface area, creating more torque. And of course, I kept the little circular nozzle for my air compressor. So once all the parts were printed, I got the two ABEC 5 bearings and all the parts and assembled it. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished building uh, the, I guess I'm going to call it a turbo turbine. I don't know. I still haven't decided on a name for it. But um, right now I've pumped up the compressor to 20 PSI and I'm going to see if this thing will even work. But first I need to get a piece of tape. And for that I got some right here. Alright, so we got that, we got 20 PSI, <sighs> let's see how fast this thing will go. Three, two, one. I 
want out it's done but instead of this I think I'm just going to put like a strip on the side of it so it's not unbalancing it okay that should do it so there you go 20 psi Holy crap, that thing puts out quite a bit of power. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's get 40 PSI. All right, that's 40 PSI. I got my uh, 480 frame camera rolling and uh, let's see how fast this turbine can go. The turbine hasn't broken, but uh, the tape sure flew off. Okay. Both cameras are recording. We're doing uh, 20 pressure intervals. And um, yeah, we're, this is 60 PSI. It's still in one, how? Like, I saw the shaft moving back and forth. It's probably because I don't have a washer in between one of the bearings. But, what? How? I, I like, I, I want, I want to do 80 PSI. Okay, that's 80 PSI. Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully this thing doesn't explode. Okay, so that was 80 freaking PSI, and I think I'm going to wrap wrap up this project with 100 PSI, but I think um, for the next turbine video I do, uh, I will need bigger air outlets, because I think this thing is not getting to its full potential. Alright, so I was able to get my compressor up to 98 PSI, but I think it's close enough to 100. Let's hope this thing doesn't explode. <laughs> That survived almost a hundred PSI. Holy mackerel, how did the bearings not explode? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. So, I have this turbine that can spin 10,000 RPM at a hundred PSI without exploding. I need your guys' opinions on what you guys would like me to build with this turbine, whether it's a generator or even a compressed air jet engine. But make sure to comment down below one of your ideas for a future project, and if you really want to build this turbine, I'll have all the files for 3D printing for free over at Thingiverse.com. The links are in the description. And if you really like this new video format with a bit more building and testing instead of more boring explaining, please leave a like on the video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Holy mackerel, that outro was fast.